For the third and final time, welcome back to Fresh Fishing and welcome back to the 2022 French Adventure. You join us on day six of the trip and by this point the lake was really testing us. In this vlog we have a Pimp My Bivy, another Bots and some more carp, we promise. Mate, that's the pop-up. I saw it swing round. Little. Oh, are you joking? Oh, fucking little fecker. <laughs> Got us all excited. Oh. Morning, folks. So, obviously a little bit more lively um, with the fish coming early hours this morning. I've stayed awake. I've been awake the whole time. Foxy was snoozing. Mr. Hygienic over there is brushing his teeth on the bank. I'll wait until I get over to the caravan. But uh, yeah, we're going to sit tight, wait for our brekkie rolls to come. And then uh, I think we're going to shoot off, go out to the shops again. I think we're going to go into the tackle shop. So if, we're going to, if we go into the tackle it's shop. So fresh and so clean. We'll, uh, it smells good actually. Your breath smells nice now. Uh, if we do go into the tackle shop, it's all that snogging we were doing. It we'll, was let, bad. <laughs> we'll let you know what was in there, um, and then come back and yeah. Do we need to go to the tackle shop? Depends if we need more corn and stuff. I just found that corn. Well, we'll see. Maybe Kitch might want to go. All right, okay. Um, yeah, so then we're going to come back. Obviously, reset the rods. So we'll bring you that action. Bring the action. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the action. <laughs> You're such a no <laughs> uh, Yeah, cool. See you in a bit. Toodle pip. Something on there. A few little beeps on that middle rod over by the island that we had a fish on last night. Yeah. Nothing on it. Oh, the open. This lad just delivered my breakfast this morning. Oh. Yeah, well, I just went for a Betty Squirt. Yeah. And the guy was just walking around, so I just thought... Save, save his legs. Save his legs, yeah. What's it looking like? Oh, it looks good, to be fair. It's like a sausage. Ooh. Mm. Hello. Hello, cheeky. Socle bleu. Socle bleu. Wait, honestly, there's so much substance in it that it doesn't even really close does it no you've got to eat like a shawarma that's what we've worked out uh -huh. you've got to like peel it from the top that's like the so that's the tackers. so we just thought we'd show the components of the rig that's caught us two fish that we've recently had on a scarce lake on what on a scarce lake two fish because it doesn't sound like a lot does it but as soon as we changed to that method, we started catching fish. Yeah, we uh, yeah exactly. As soon as we changed to this method, we've, oh. we've caught two fish off of it. So it's a supernatural braided hook link. We've got size eight. Uh, we've got different hooks. So we've got this. These are the Cassian ones from uh, one more cast. We've also got Corda, Kershank, Nash, um, Fan X's, and then we've just got one of these Dazzlers little uh, maggot bloodliners so that is what the finished rig looks like and with the fact that we've been feeding the water with the um, the party mix particle stuff yeah we've been using on the hook bait just um, double fake corn two bits of uh, fake corn and that's been... what's been doing the trick so that's just a four inch standard um, Hair rig, standard hair wig, rig, which is a knotless knot, and then that little blood liner goes over the top of the knotless knot. And then, yeah, when you've obviously got the, the corn on there, you get a nice little mix of red and yellow, so a bit of colour. <coughs> and that's what's been doing the trick. How's the brekkie? I can't, I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate these every, at 9 o'clock every morning. They are nice. They're I start to look nice. forward to them from about seven. I've been awake since half five. Yeah, since you got that fish. I'm tired. I went back to sleep for a bit. But yeah. Nice. We're going to go around the shop soon, aren't we? We are. 
Look at all the lads having a social without us. Look at you, having a social without us. Who do you think you are? Oh, you were all the way over there, aren't you? Are your rods <laughs> in, Jamie? Huh? Are your rods in? Nah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to leave all this in. We're giving the sounder boxes all to you. Just give them to me. I'll watch them all for <laughs> Yeah. Come back and be out on the boat like that, won't you? Like? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do 100 metres in 15 seconds, so that'd be fine. I'd have to, wouldn't I? <laughs> right. How's your night, chaps? No problem. Good sleep? Good yes. sleep, well I had nothing else to do. Sleep. That was the only thing that was good. <laughs> sleep. Slept like a baby. <laughs> watch me film and then put my head down, yeah? Get me head down. Gladiator? No, I didn't watch Gladiator, I watched the other one. I'm going to watch Gladiator in two halves tonight and tomorrow night. Fresh fishing on tour at the... What? How do you pronounce that, Jay? Umalan Pusher. That's it. Umalan Pusher. Wayne's pimping our bivy abroad. Don't know. Which don't which know one should he get? So the, the, the plastic one is five euros. This fox one with the metal handle that you screw into the um, spoon, fifteen euro. Ten euro. It looks nice though, doesn't it? Look at it. It's like carbon fibre and all that shit. This one's fox, and this one is harp spirit. Fox is a better brand than it. Cat spirit is a bit crap. It's a bloody scoop, man. I've got a pets at home one for a nugget. Yeah, right, but for we. A nugget. <laughs> for a nugget. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, what? In the shop, we were deciding what scoop to get. Yeah. What one did we go with? The expensive one. The expensive one, yeah, it's expensive. Well, it's a really nice handle. It is. It it is a great it's a handle. really nice, nice grip. Jay, it is a really nice handle. Oh my god. You alright, kid? Yeah. What's the matter, mate? Just getting emotional. <laughs> we were just saying that oh. this is mine and Wayne's first scoop that it's we bought together. It's our first scoop together. It's like, so it's it's like, like a moment. It's like a new child. Yeah. You don't get much better scoops than this. Jay, are you alright, mate? <laughs> is it because it's not a plastic one from Pets at Home? Are we going here? Keep going straight on. Is it because it's not a plastic one from Pets at Home, Jay? I am, hey, I am a very indecisive person and I did not take that long on a f scoop. It's a fox scoop for 15 quid. Stop swearing, quid, I've got mate. to beat that. Fox scoop for 15 quid. That's bad. Buzzing. 15 I'm... euros, it's probably about 30. No, it was 16 euros. Oh, was it? Alright. <laughs> uh, can't wait to go and use it. Yeah. It's funny, you know. Pets at home do one that look exactly the same. Nah, it doesn't have a metal handle right. and screw on yeah. the top like that, does it? You know what I mean? Off and I think that's about a pound. That is going to feature in Pimp My Bivy. Adios. Here we go. We're back in the swim. First bit of use of the magical eating scoop. Yes. What a tool. What a tool. Foxy, look, my hand's not getting dirty. Oh my goodness. And it pick up, picks up quite a lot. That is, that is majestic. <laughs> majestic. Yes! Winning. Beer, chocolate, crisps, croissants, you name it, we got it. you got to have snacks on the bank, haven't you? Yeah, and now we are catching some fish. So, a um, little update in terms of tactics. Because of the fish that we've caught in the last two on those rigs that Foxy made with the... Um, little the maggot one, kicker. Um, the little maggot kicker. All rods are going on that now. And we're going to put them back on the spot. Yeah, boy. So we just had a backdrop, massive backdrop, from that rod up at the island. And Foxy's saying there's something on. But it's that weird thing where... Little, is it just running in? Yeah. Weird. Weird takes. Massive backdrop. Ah, it's a little one, isn't it? I think so. Come on. Come on. Just a little fish anyway. Oh well, get it back out there. There's fish feeding. Wayne's gone for a kit. He's a bit tired. So I'm... Um, Wayne's obviously by the rods and I've got the receivers. But I'm going to go around and see if Dad's... How Dad's getting on. You alright in there? Aye. Right. What have you been doing? Just having a snooze. Snooze? 
sorry to interrupt, but I thought I'd come have a look at your swim with the with the deeper. How are you feeling, Dad? Tired. Tired? <laughs> no, I'm all right. Just need some fish now. Think it's gonna happen? Well, I hope so. I've not had anything yet apart from the little uh, little tiddler. So they're not there on ours. Well, we've just uh, right. this rod here. Dad had it down on this margin, and we've had the deeper out, and it's it kind of slopes. So we've taken it off of the slope and moved it out maybe two rod lengths. Saw a couple of fish there, so fingers crossed that one does the business, eh? Fingers crossed, yeah. Well, good luck. We need OMR to get a fish on the bank for the video. One hundred percent. It's got to happen. It's going to happen. Better do. Right, Sleeping Beauty is awoken. Might have filmed you while you were asleep. Did you? A little bit. <laughs> and I'm a little bit drunk because I've was been. snoring? No, nah, not really. No. Nah. I've, I've had a few beers because I've been a bit bored on my own. You've had two beers, you Three and a half. <laughs> and one of them was the Desperados, which is 5.9% may add. Do you know what I was thinking? What? We haven't done Think my Bindi. So that's what we should do right now. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out. Bivy. Bivy. What's new then, Wayne? Right, so, because we're in France for a week. Oh, Papa Squat. Because we're in oh, France for oh. a week. That muzzy out. I trekked myself to a new bed, didn't I? Right. Need a new. Well, I didn't need a new bed. There was nothing wrong with my old one. Yeah, there was. It was. Shit. Well, it was just you know. It was old. Well, it wasn't even old. It worked. It was good, but he sagged. Yeah, a little, little bit sagger. A little bit droopy. So I wanted to make sure that I was going to have a good night's sleep on the bank in France. So I went and bought the Nash Indulgent, but. Bit of a schoolboy error. I didn't measure it's a little it. Bit. I didn't measure it. It's a little bit tight on space in the old bivy. I didn't measure it, and it is a big old bed chair. And this bivy turns out is not the biggest and not the most ideal for a Nash indulgence. It is quite a big bivy, but I think that's just a big bed. It's a huge bed. Yeah, it's big, it's pretty wide. So looks like I need to buy a new bivy. Oh well. So yeah, if you're in the market for a new bivy, the Quest might be up for the sale. The Quest will be up for sale, probably for about two fifty. And they're like three thirty on the market. Let us know. Use it a few times. It's pretty much brand new inside. It is. Well, it's probably been used like five, six times. Okay, it's fresh. But anyway, onto the Nash Indulgence, mate. The reason I bought this was for one purpose and one purpose only: the mattress that it's the the memory foam there man it's just beautiful oh that is and i've had some look at that some really really nice sleeps whilst i've been here i'm a bit jealous obviously you have got the sleep system i've got the shimano but i'm a bit jealous are you that's because you, your stuff is nash and you're a nash whore i know i am I need, I need to get this bed don't i you do um so yeah we've got the sleep system you've got like you can you know in there and all this fluff in there, and you're underneath the. Uh, I think it's. Is it five? It's I think it's four season, no, it's five. It's a five season. Five, yeah. Under there, and you're under the five season, and then you've got the second zip, which is here. So if you get a bit too hot under there, you can go under that one. And it's nice, you know, because this bit here, proper light, just plots up over your face a little bit. Yeah. It's nice. I like it. 
So I've been sleeping really, really well. Nice. That is nice. I, I probably will get one. I, I actually almost tried to get one before we came, didn't I? Mm. But I, I think, about we're, my bed, think we're going to do like a separate review video on this. We will, yeah. Um, so you can see it in a bit more detail. We've got yeah. a lot of review videos to do, but we have Nash Indulgence, any. five season, SS4, MF60. That's a tongue twist. It's quite confusing, isn't it? But you can get these in the wide as well, the wide boy ones. But Jesus, if you get them in the wide, can you imagine? Why would that be? Because that's already quite wide. It's very wide. But, yeah, it is snug in here, I'm not going to lie, but it's cosy as well. I've got yeah. enough space down here. I've got bags and that down the back. So I've got enough leg room. I'm happy. But we could be more comfy, couldn't we? So bigger, always, you bigger can always bivvy. be more comfy, can't you? And I'm a bit jealous of Foxy's uh, T1 as well. So It is nice, isn't it? We'll have to, we need to also do a review on the T1. We'll have to Nash it up a bit more. I do like Nash. In terms of other new stuff, I mean, we've both... We've both got one of these. We've both got one of these. Um, it turns into a torch yeah. and... It's a mozzie zapper. Um, I obviously got the non-camo one. Foxy got the camo one, obviously. <laughs> but I, I told you, I only got the camo because the, the black one was actually out of stock. I wouldn't have got the camo. And oh, yeah. got a bivvy light, didn't I? It's non, no carp tax on that bad boy either. No carp tax. It's not a carpy brand. I don't know. But it pretty much does the same as what Ridge Monkey does. I don't really know how to work this remote control. I haven't really sussed it, to be honest with you. I just go like that and it works. You got a green light, a white, and then a brighter white, a red, and a brighter red, a green, and a brighter green. It comes with a magnet and everything. And then it goes off. Yeah, it comes with a magnet and that. Um, have I got anything else? I was mainly just concentrating on the bed, to be honest with you. That was going to be my main purchase, and they're not cheap, by no, the way. No, they're not. Very expensive. But worth it. Yeah. Yeah, that's about that's it. That's a pretty good haul, though, isn't it? Well, I get stuff that I need, don't I, Foxy? Mm. I get stuff What that did I you need. get? I get stuff that I need. As well as, as other stuff. No, all the stuff I've got this week for, for this trip, I need. Let's have a look, then. So you see if front and centre. Oh. oh. Ah. Look, you got your... The Nash Indulgence Moon Chair. And he's even got it in his bivvy. So he's had a nice little fold up of the bottom of the bed chair. Yeah. Creates enough space. Works perfect. And it almost kind of provides you with a little table. You a little can rest bit. something on that. It's, it would be more flat, but I've got that little blow up bed underneath. So if I, if I um, deflated it, it would be flat. But yeah, I got this. And do you know what? It, it was about, what was it, 105, 110 quid, something like that. Worth it. Worth every penny. My back doesn't hurt at all. Normally, with my chair. I go and I come back from fishing, my back's a bit sore. This, you sink right into it. It's like you're in a little couch. Wayne's had a go, he says it's mint. Yeah, it is. You've got these little pockets. It's just mint. It yeah. is massive, though. It you're, is massive. It is huge. You are living cosy on the bank. It is massive. So Your bivvy's quite messy. Me I, it's organised mass. Ah, okay. Organised mass. Um, we actually got some new scales. Yeah, we did. Some avid digital scales <clears throat> because we've got the Reuben Heatons, but the Reuben Heatons, the it's obviously um, like the analog ones, and it doesn't number every single one, and it's just a bit of a nightmare to try. If you're holding up a heavy carb, it's a bit shaky, isn't it? So we thought, get these; it will tell us exactly what it is, and they've been good so far. So I'm, I'm happy we bought them. Um, what else have I got? I've got my little... What about that? That little pouch thing hanging from your bed? Oh, yeah, there's that. That's my little <laughs> tracker. I can't remember what they called it. It's from Tracker. It's just like a little organiser thing. It's like, a, it's like a bed bum bag. Yeah, basically. So the front there, you, you can get... Um, I've got my little po polar, Polaroids in. And then you've just got... I think it was only about 20 quid. <clears throat> and you just got loads of different zippy pockets. I've got my wallet and my keys in there. And then in this one, I've got like some cables and shit, tablets in that one. It's good. It's good. Yeah, and it's good. And further down, what is this little? This a new bivy table is my mate. Where's that other one you had with like? It was like a I sold it. Did you? Yeah. 
What was that? The that was the avid one. Oh, was it? Yeah. This is the Nash tackle. I think I don't know what they call it. It's just Nash tackle bibby table organizer. Nash tackle. Thing. But then you've got like two <coughs> little. It's basically just a big bivy table with a bag underneath, right? Literally, yeah. Shelf. But you've got two little shelves, okay. and then uh, quite. A, it, what I like about it is it's quite high. So like I've been lying there and watching my tablet on a night with my head there. Right. So it's back. Whereas other booby tables are normally like down here, aren't they? Yeah. Like halfway. So actually, it's pretty good, and it comes with a nice little bag, folds away nicely. I'm happy with it. Isn't that new? Oh yeah, that's new too. <laughs> you don't stop, man. That's new as well. That's just a solar um, little tackle bag box. And I'm well happy with that actually. It's good because it's, quite, the top it's got of a little it, magnet. Yeah, that's so when you're making feature. rigs on top, they just stick to it and that. And then obviously the camo wolf um mozzie. Mozzie zapper. So you've had a bloody blinder, you've had a good hole, yeah. I mean how much have you spent? I'm not saying. You're not saying? Nah, um that was about seventy. Mm. Which I actually got quite a good deal on that online because I think everywhere else is about 100 and I found it on 70 for the site. So I was like, And the chair was about 100. Chair was about 100. That was about 30. So 200. And the mozzie thing was what, 25? Because I couldn't get the. And the one. bed bum bag? 20. Okay. So what's that about? 250? 250. Bloody hell. All in a good day's work. Hopefully Danny's not watching this. Looks like you got a hell of a lot more than me and I spent double. No, not really. <laughs> you got a massive bed. Huge bed. Your bed was what, five hundred? Something like that, yeah, roughly. And then the light is a lot for a bed. The light was what, thirty? Thirty. And then the mozzie's up at twenty. Yeah. Uh -huh. So no, it's a bit. We love fishing. We do. We, we go fishing, fishing enough, don't we? So it's, it's worth it. It's worth and look, we've got some new head torches actually, but we didn't spend uh, yeah. a penny on these because the company kindly sent us them. Yeah, so we've got one a piece. What are they called? Fe is it Phoenix? Phoenix, yeah. And they are they are legit. They are really good. They're, they're like, not a cart brand. They're yeah. more of like a camping brand. But they are class. Yeah, they're really Wayne's good. got like a smaller one, which like you can take the... the it's a little torch, actually. It comes off. We was kind of fighting over who wanted the smaller one, really. I know, but actually that one... And I, I got it, and then when we started using them, this one's the better. The beam on that is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. The lumens in it are ridiculous. I think we're going to do a, a, obviously because they sent us them for free of charge. We we said we'll do a review video on them um, as kind of payment. So they that's are what awesome, we are going to do. They are, but they're expensive as well. They are expensive, but it's... you can see why as well because even comparing that to the Ridge Monkey, yeah, like that is much better, legit. But you, this one here that they sent through is uh, ninety pound, and my one that they've got that they 70, sent through is seventy. Um, so they're both really, really good head torches. I mean, if you want to spend that amount of money on head torches, then yeah. Yeah, it is a lot. But me personally, I probably wouldn't be spending, a, like, because my own opinion, my own personal preference, I don't think I could spend 70 to 90 quid on a head torch. No. But if you do want to. Saying that, if you, if, you know, if you do, then these ones are class. Yeah. They are really And good. then the other thing we've got. Can you see that better there? What? Oh, yeah. The other thing we've it's like got a power station is our power station, and it's solar panelled as well. Yeah, so we've got a solar panel with it. What are they called again? All powers. All powers. Yeah. All powers. So again, we actually got in touch with them and we said, look, we're going to France for a week. We don't have power. We need something to power our vlog, camera equipment, batteries, phones, all that jazz. And they obliged. They sent us. They actually wanted to send us a better one, but they didn't have them in stock. So they sent this one. Um, and then they sent the, the solar panel and I was very sceptical about the solar panel I was thinking it's not going to charge that it's going to take ages to charge it you put that thing in the sun and literally it charges it in yeah, an hour or two fill it up in a it's couple of min. hours won't it yeah we, it's not even sunny today and it was on 50% I had it on didn't I for about an hour and a half mm -hmm. and it's fully charged class so it's banging yeah that has done us a squeeze on the bank for the uh, vlogging stuff definitely 100%. definitely like you can well that there now it's charging especially for like because of the venue there's not a lot of power supply we would have been a little no, bit you've basically got to ask the guys to take your power banks away and charge them mm. um 
but this is just keeping everything else going. We've obviously bought other power banks and stuff, but this is just keeping like the batteries going and Wayne's charged his phone on it a few times. I've charged my phone on it a few times. Oh yeah, you can actually just rest your phone on the top of it. And yeah, it just charges like. Uh... And you've got plugs, so I've got my laptop with me. If I needed to charge my laptop, I could. So, it's it's um, actually a decent bit of kit, that is. Yeah, you I mean, how much USB. is that if you was to go and buy it? I think that's two hundred ish. Really? One. Yeah. Awesome. And then I think the solar panel is like hundred, so like for and it is worth it. That solar panel makes it well worth it because mm. like the fact that if you're away for a week, so you know how expensive electricity is these days. Come buy electricity from us. Exactly. We can sell electricity. Yeah, all powers <laughs> to do the job. But I think that's a pretty. That isn't. That's a pretty. How, how long have we been recording there? Like fourteen minutes. Yeah. Exactly fourteen minutes. 14 minutes. You, was it? Yeah. I knew it was on thirteen a minute ago. So. <laughs> um, that's that's a long pimp my bivvy, isn't it? Yeah, no, we've done well, haven't we? We've uh, taken the time to pimp you out, bivvies. Yeah, but that's probably that's probably. Do pimp, you know what? Probably pimp for a good bit. Do obviously, you know what, wait. What? Mine has actually made me re-pimp. My I was bivvy. I was about to say that's probably us pimped for a good bit, but then actually he's going to get a new bivvy, and then probably around I'm Christmas probably time. Sell my bed and get a national. <laughs> <pets, laughs> let's be honest. Eventually, we're both just going to end up with exactly the same. Probably thing, the sa <laughs> same bivvy, same bed. He'll have a moon chest. <laughs> <laughs> but class. I think you should get one on tables too. Go on. <laughs> no, do you know what? If I get one, oh, you're going to make me want everything Nash though. No, I don't want to turn into <laughs> That's a... That's the thing, it? Tackle dark. No, I Just don't want to turn matching. into one. I'm slowly all turning matching. into one. But Max has got a... Um, Avid, is it Avid his? No, he just, got it, he just got it from... Uh, a oh, God, doors. doors. Similar kind of thing. It's like, like 30 shelves quid. Similar, exactly the same, but probably twice the size. Oh, right. For yeah. 30 quid. Because I know I would do one, which is a bit taller than that. Yeah. It looks quite good. Cool. Right. Where are these fish at? <sighs> no idea, mate. Another little of maybe. That island rod. It was weird. It was almost like proper bent round though, wasn't it? Yeah. And now it's taking you out into the middle of the water. Nothing on it. Nope. FFS. Oh, we keep trying. We keep trying. We've just seen a Bosch out there. So Foxy's being very proactive. My Water dinner's rod. there and I'm not even getting my dinner. Let's see. And we've just been served food. He's grafting hard at it. I'm eating. He's scrunning his head off. I'm eating. Spag bowl. There's a garlic bread there. And in this little tin... Cake and custard. Got wet and oil, yeah. Hurry up, get that rod out, please. Purchase something like that, but I lost it. Well, I didn't, it didn't, it didn't. Oh, you was doing a bit of Xander fishing, you were, it. yeah. Yeah, Jamie's doing a bit, yeah. See Jay in the background there. He's on peg eight. Taking You enjoy the swag bowl with you? Good, yeah. Do you like it? You know, I'm not forgetting that. No, Nice, All right, yeah. Could have been and we the, uh, are bowl. taking our food oh, and rubbish good. back. Loads of empty beers and bottles of water and stuff. You're at it again, Mark. What are you up to? That's a method feeder on a single piece of sweet corn. Just a normal bottom bait. It's not. So you've, or you've gone for bottom. single sweet corn now. Single sweet corn, but it's on that. Oh, hook. did you see that? It's on that hook you gave me. Which is masked because you've got that red thing. I know. On it. When he said that to you, I yeah, thought yeah. all of ours are masked. Correct. Um, and uh, the other one, I've put back onto a wafter with a piece of sweet. Parker corn. Bates wafter. Yeah, with a piece of, with a piece of sweet corn. Oh, normal with. sweet corn. So there'll be bottom and wafting. Bottom and wafting. Yeah. Bottom and wafting. But will it? I mean, it's it's in the middle. It's still wafting. Yeah, once one it, piece once of it escapes from the method feeder. Yeah, it was still yeah. waft. Um, Wafty. <laughs> and I'm leaving that one in the margin. You're leaving that one? That one's going to do your bite, yeah. I'm telling you. But what he said was, you know, I had the four beeps where it was before. Yeah. He said that was it, picking the um, picking the hair up and checking it out and binning it. Oh, what, have they got hands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did that just make you cringe? <laughs> well, I don't know, you know. Highly educated. They, yeah. they do do that. They do. They can do that. If you yeah, watch, can. if you watch the Corder Underwater series, they've got like a filtration system in their mouths. When they when they're biting really finicking, but finickingly, yeah. I would, I would, wouldn't think they would do it all the time. I don't know. I don't know. 
we're scratching our brains, aren't we? Well, when when the um... <laughs> <laughs> right, right. If Let's... we're not catching forties, we're doing something wrong, apparently. Right. So that, he said. That's what he said. Yeah. Right. At least forties, we're doing something wrong. Well, you don't want to know my theory. But, but, but then, but uh, uh, you're doing everything right, but you just need to tweak your rigs. It doesn't sound like you're doing much wrong. You just need to tweak your rigs. It's, right. it's, it's, you know. So I don't know. Hmm. I'm not having it. I can't see that. They're just not feeding. Correct. Yeah. And they're not feeding in mass anyway. There's a few feeding here and there, and that's it. Yeah. No, I bait. think I think we need right. to go and put some Parker baits on a couple of the rigs. On a couple of the rigs. Right. You fancy it? Because that we did catch that first fish off. Yeah, of your first one was Parker on a bait wafter. fruit and nut wafter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. And also, by the way, go on. If you want ten percent off Parker baits, your first order, go on the website. Put in fresh fishing at checkout and you'll get ten percent off. Oh, look at that hornet! Look at that. Oh, that's massive. That is a big hornet. No, but yeah, let, you're right. Let, let's put let's back shit like that. Just sort them out, huh? I got I got stung by a hornet in Austria. Can you remember? Maybe. <laughs> It'd be a drama, like usual. You know. <laughs> He's a drama. Mega no, drama. It's a good shot. We'll go put some wafters on from <clears throat> PB Packer Bates. Well, because we've got six corn on there. Yeah, so yeah let's we, just we've, we've gone it all in a little bit too much. Let's I've put got a couple of wafters. Now. I've got. Yeah, I've done that. We'll do one fruit and nut, one fishy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. OG fish. Yeah. So I've got double corn on there, single corn on there, Packer Bates wafter with a bit of corn on there. So that's a yeah good, good a mixture variety. as well. Yeah. Right, good luck, OMR. I'll we'll see thinking. you in the night with a fish. Mate, why is my face so pink? Because <sighs> you sunburnt, mate. I feel like I'm a little bit burnt. <laughs> I haven't even been in the sun today. It's from the other day, no sun cream. Uh, night message. Wednesday night. Only yeah. two full days left. We're running out of time. We need to get some big ones on the bank. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I think, I don't know whether we'd like keep trying to like change up plans too much, but I'm thinking about putting more rods in the deeper water. And more but we're bait. also going to try something different tomorrow. I've got my beam angle on the deeper at 40 something percent. I'm going to try the lower beam angle at 20 percent, just to see if that makes a difference. Well, it might, might be a marginal difference, we'll see. But. Like I was saying, more bait, a couple more rods over in the deeper part of the water. <sighs> Kitch has been hoying in the bait down at that um, shallower part of the he water. Has. And he hasn't been getting into anything, so... Well, that's not necessarily the way to go, is it? Who knows, but... We'll see what the night brings. Obviously, we're not having a, the best of times, you know, three fish between us. So there's two days left. We're just thinking, should we just go hammer and tong at it? Or? Well, we've got a lot of bait left, to be fair, because mm. we haven't. Because the advice for this place was to not smash it in. But mm. we'll see. Hopefully, we'll see you in the night. And yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm just on constant repeat. It's my turn next. I'll see you in the night. But yeah, so he's taking the camera, and uh, hopefully we'll be. Oh, we need to get this on camera today. I'm wearing. <laughs> what you talking oh if I right, finally my Mark Pictures Hippopotter Chunk t-shirt and the last time that I wore this in France we caught a 51 pounder we did so that was the theory and putting it on today and Wayne said I'm not allowed to take it off now can't take it off now so I'm going to stink but <laughs> hopefully it brings the big ones fingers crossed come on Night right here we go um Max's first fish, it's um, 3.40 in the morning, he's just come and woke me up as uh, he's had this little beauty on uh, his right hand rod. Um, Stop by peg eight in the shallow there. It's uh, 32 pounds and uh, 32.04 was it? 32.1. 1. 32.1. 32.1, yeah. 32.1 and... Um, there we go. There she blows. Say a few words for the camera, Max. Oh, been waiting a long while for this. <laughs> yeah, everything yeah. comes to them that wait. It's great stuff. Brilliant. And it was on sure. a 
Just bottom bait boily. Bottom Put bait boily. Mill boily, yeah. Boily yeah. with a bit of sweet corn. A bit of sweet corn round, wrapped round the hook. Wrapped round the hook. Yeah. So that's great stuff. Yeah. Right, so beautiful yeah. job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have one. Finally. You've <laughs> Oh, <laughs> let me help you out. Oh, please let it be a big one. That's what we want to hear. Go on, lad, get those wellies on. What? What is the time? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Kitch had one in the night as well. Kitch had a 32 pounder. Come on, please let it start popping off. What a shot. This is what we came for, isn't it? I hope so, mate. This is what we came for. You wearing your hippopotamus chunk t shirt? Gone underneath this hoodie, mate. <laughs> Oh no, the other way. Oh. Yeah. It looks like a nice carp, mate. Biggie carp. Get in. Get in, lad. Hang on a minute. What we got there, boy? We've got a. <gasps> Is that a PB mirror? No, it's not. Oh, it's 50. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was so ready for that fucking. No, it's not a PB. But it is a lovely 32 pound. It's a lever in it, Jay. Oh, there's some scales on the top. Bit veiny, isn't it? Go in. Get in. There we go. Fourth one on the bank for Fourth us. Fourth one on the bank, finally. Took all night, 8 o'clock this morning. I was in a lovely little sleep and it screamed off. And yeah, this is the result. What ends up next? Happy Get days. In. But we do want something bigger. I've got my hippopotamus trunk tee on and we want uh we want some forties and fifties ideally. Mm. Sixties, seventies maybe even. Yeah. Because we know they're in there. Well, we've been told they're in there. We don't know they're in they're there. They're in there. They're just hiding. Get in. And away. That is packed out to the rafters. It's the old garlic again. It was our favourite one, so... Celebratory breakfast sandwich. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hello. Nice and clean, nice and fresh. Just went for a poo and a shower. And <clears throat> now Foxy's just gone for a shower and probably a poo as well. And it's my take. I'm next. I'm up next. There's a. Uh, I'm a little. I'm happy about that, but I'm also not because if it was Foxy's take, then I'd probably go and sit on Kitch's peg, sit in the sun, have a few beers and that. But it's so far away to have to run back round when it's your take. Have to sit in, sit in the shade all day. Oh well. Let's hope I am rewarded with a fish. I'm gonna get a cup of teas on now, get the brew on, chill, wait for a fish. All right. All right, what's the POA? Foxy's back from doing his Betty squit and his shower. shower. Feeling fresh. Plan of action. Well, I say we, these rods have probably been in the water now for since a good 30 hours, right? 30? You think that long? Maybe not that long. Not reckon. When did we redo them? Yesterday afternoon. Oh, okay. Maybe like 16 hours. Yeah. In. So let's um, let's look at these rigs. Let's get them back out there. Redo the rods. Right. Yeah. Right. First, I need to go moisturise. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? You, you, okay. I need to moisturise. <laughs> put right. some deodorant on so I'm smelling fresh. All right, you... And then we can redo the rods, and then we've got some filming to do. We've got to do some review videos. All right, well, you go start moisturising, and I'll 
I don't know what you're um, laughing at. You've been lathering moisturizer on yourself in the little shower. Yeah, but at least like I've done it over there. Like I'm gonna just do it on my face, my little beautiful (laughs) face. (laughs) I'm just trying to preserve my tan. (laughs) Yeah, I put some of this moisturizer on this morning, and it is like thick cream. It's made. Put it on, and it was like sludge. Obviously, we got it here when we were here from supermarket. And yeah, you put it on, and as the more you rub it in, the more it just foams up. <laughs> it it's does. Weird. I like squirted loads, like, <laughs> and I was like, "What the?" And I was thinking, "Is it actually moisturizer? Like shaving, or is it shower it's like shaving cream?" <laughs> right, you do you, and I'll do the rods. Okay. Middle one keeps beeping. It means there's something playing with it. It's gonna go off soon. The uh, the bailiff owner person has told us to try and disguise our hook baits a bit more because the big fish are watching the little fish. Yeah. And they're watching the little fish get caught and they don't want to come near our rigs. So he we're, said that that's what he does. So we're disguising them. So we're disguising it. And I was just looking at it. Doesn't it look good? Juicy. Yeah. <laughs> the fish are going to suck it up. Disguised. Let's see if it does the biz. Oh, I mean, we've already had three fish on just the maggot and the disguise in the top of the, the hook. hook. So, so yeah, maybe we'll get more fish off of the further disguising. Mate, it's like you. It's pure camo. Mate, yeah, you've camoed that hook yeah, up, boy. I ain't got much camo with me this week, you know. Clothing Have wise, I haven't. I haven't been checking out your. Your you clothing. have, you have. Oh no, lying. I did because I said the other day I was like, you, I said to, everything planned. Said to Jay Fox he will have his outfits planned. No, nah. I, like, I know what t-shirt I'm gonna have on this day, that day, that day. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit all over the place today. I've got a grey t-shirt on with blue shorts, black socks, and we're filming with you like this. I know, embarrassing. I know, right? <laughs> Look how he's got the the OG, old school fresh fishing. That was our first logo that I made in paint. No, <laughs> and nick that fish from somewhere online and then just uh, put fresh fishing underneath. Put, put fresh fishing but in. I like it because it is literally like the first, first one. ever one, yeah. I've got mine knocking around somewhere. You don't even know where yours is, don't lie. I do. So, after five days in peg three down there, as you can see, OMR has decided to move pegs he's only coming up a peg but the water gets a hell of a lot deeper up here so with that in mind we've urged him he didn't really want to move but we've urged him to come a bit further up so hopefully without interfering with our swim he can nab himself a fish go on old man river get that ground sheet clipped in Here we go, all my rivers in his new swim. Nice little view, you can see the windmills in the background. Baby's just there. He's got one in this margin, one in this margin, one out in front. You happy, Dad? No. Are you going to catch? Hopefully. Are you going to catch in this swim? Another what? Are you going? Are you going to catch in this swim? I should hope so. Fingers crossed. Fingers, legs, knees, legs, balls, toes, everything. Cross your arms in. So I just had the deeper out again, and the other day we couldn't see anything on the deeper fish-wise. I changed the beam angle. And there is loads out in the deep water here. And then midway to the island, there's a good few there. So we've got our rigs in the right places. They're just not clearly on the munch that much. But I'm definitely more confident for tonight now. What, because you've seen all them fish? Yeah. Well, we know we're, we're got yeah, bite but this is the prob- This is the thing. Like, we know we're in the right spot. So, why hasn't it already happened? Just because they're not feeding. Clearly, but they will tonight and tomorrow. Uh, okay, they will.
was a bots, mate. Bots. Cheers. Hat. It is hat, hat, hat. Welcome to our second instalment of Bots. Bots. <laughs> bots. <laughs> it's a bots, mate. It is a bots, mate. It's uh, we, when, when when did we do the last one? Two, two, two days, is it? Yeah, two, two days ago. So I got, it's all it's all rolling at one. Um, it's Thursday now, and Kitch provided these ones. Mm. So we said to Kitch, he was going to the shop the other day. I said, I tell you what, get another get another beer for us through a box. Left him in choice, in charge of the choice. Sorry, left him in choice. In choice, yeah. Uh, and he's come up with this one. What is it, Kitch? Yeah, <laughs> Castile. Castile. Castile Rouge. Castile is rogue. It's a red, a red beer then. Red, red beer, right? Where is it from? Eight percent. French, isn't it? Is that what? What made you choose this, mate? Well, it was a toss up between the two. What two? There was this one and another one. And oh, I, <laughs> I looked at this one and I thought, it's German. Ah, oh, Belgian. It's oh, right, brewed no. within the kingdom of Belgium. Go on. I was reading somewhere and it said cherry. I thought I'd be different. Yeah, I like it. Okay. In the ingredients somewhere, it does say, unless I've read it wrong, like, and it means, there you go, cherry flavour. Get in. Oh, there I like that. So, something a bit and fruity. surely the 8% must have dragged you towards it. That was there straight away, mate. Yep. That's like why it. I picked it up. Right. So, without further ado, uh, hang on a minute, what do we think of the bottles? Little ones, 33. Cute, aren't they? <laughs> Pardon me. I've had it's better than them buckets we had the other day. Poor, <laughs> isn't it? Buckets. <laughs> Oh, first kick of like Oh, that smells nice. Oh, that smells nice. Cheers, boys. Let's go in. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Oh, Salut. Cheers, Martin. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Oh, nah. It's like cherry cola. I don't mind it. 8%. Kids could drink that and think it would pop. Yeah, ma'am. Mm. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Jay's face says it all. You're not having another swig, Jay? Is it a beer or a It's like a wine, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's like a wabir. What the hell? No, what? Actually, it doesn't say beer on it. It doesn't say lager. It doesn't say. It just says rouge. It doesn't say drink. Maybe the Belgians have got a particular drink that is it's nice. Well, a wine would like this rouge. That fizzy, would it? No. I think it's nice. I think no, it's, it's nice. definitely right. beer. Yeah, I yeah. like it. It's nice. Mate, that is a different sort of beer. That's definitely a beer. Yeah. yeah it must be. It was in a beer section, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. And yeah. it's got all the ingredients of a beer. It was opposite where I picked it up. It's got hops. Barley, malt, hops, cherry yeah, flavor. Barley, everything in it. Yeah. Wheat, yeah. Beer. Hey, that's banging. Good choice, then. Yeah. Oh, get in. Lots of malt in it. I'm I'm disappointed we don't do half points. Barley, malt, wheat, half sugar. Point. Yeah, because I'm hops, tempted to go like nine and a half you with that one. Give it full, aren't you? Give I it can't ten. give it a ten. You can't? I don't know. I can't. After the bottle, I think you would. <laughs> oh, the cherry is nice, though. Jay hates I quite like it. I think it's all right. No, nice. I'm, I'm going a nine. That is a that is a that is a high nine as well. That is a that is a solid solid nine from me. I, I, I go with you there, like. It's better than that red one we had last year. That's banging. Got real. That was yeah. okay, but it wasn't as good as that. That's they were selling that in boxes. What are we saying, Jay? That's a free. Wow. It's a free for me. Well, because it, it's not it's not beery enough for you. You're not cultured enough, man. But you're off your heart, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you're not cultured. <laughs> no, yeah, it just, I'll go away on there. Like, I'll give it a nine. Solid. Yeah. I'll go eight. I could drink loads of them. I got, it's nice. Cherry brandy. I'll go eight. It's nice, but just because it's not as light, I don't know, it's a bit more of a wine than a beer. That's why I like it. That, I do like it. It's That's nice. why I like it. It's just mixed I know, but it, it tastes more like a wine, doesn't it's it? It's not a wine, yeah. though. It's not a wine, though. I'll give it an eight as well. But I like it. Three, eight, eight, nine, nine. nine. That's a solid shout. Jay, you let it down. But that was a box, mate. That was. Cheers, all. 
Cheers. Cheers. Those that's God and defied can fall out. <laughs> <laughs>
That'd be fine, won't it? Yeah, they get mice and rats into running across them. And that. They're going to so go in there. You don't know that. Well, it's It'd up to be you. It'd be fine. It'd be fine, pal. We'll, have a, look. we'll have a look on last day and turn them over. Turn them over. <laughs> right. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm watching Arsenal. Arsenal. In the Europa League. Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah. I'm watching Arsenal. I think I'm going to watch my uh, Leeds documentary. Uh, well, Arsenal kicks off at nine o'clock here. It's eight o'clock at home, isn't it? It's a bit late, so, that, isn't it? Cup of tea. Got me. Leeds documentary. But yeah. Cut. No, these rats are naughty. They just like when they run. They they're that big. They fud. They make a fud. As a running. Not like the little cute Drayton rats. Yeah, but even then they were like two meters below us. Yeah. Or a meter. Not until they got in that bin bag. Yeah. Anywho. Right, we we'll will hopefully see you, see you five or eight for a fish. Probably, but we might get one during the night because there has been a few all during the night. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, as always. Settling into the bivy. I'm gonna eat some chocolate soon. Watch Academy Dreams. Cup of tea on the go. This is the little love shack. Decent little power station there. All powers. Headlamp. All set up and ready to go. Waiting for the next bite. Come on, the gap. Breakfast has arrived. We're both still in bed because we can't be asked to get up. We're both in bed, moody. Wayne's very moody. I'm not that bothered. Wayne's moody about the lack of fish. Everyone on the lake last night blanked. Poor dad's still blanking his tits off. <clears throat> and yeah. We'll see what we can do today. We've decided we're just going to le literally leave the rigs until at least tonight. Just going to see what they do. And go. Here he is. The master blanker of the week so far. No, I've had one. All right, you, you're counting that tiddler. One, one two pounder. At least I had to use the net. You're counting the tiddler, eh? <laughs> Got anything at the moment. What are we saying, Dad? Are you going to catch in this next 24 hours? We're saying I hope so, but I'm not confident. <clears throat> it's been a bloody tough old week, it has. <coughs> tough old week. It has. We're already looking at booking next year and trying to book somewhere a bit easier. I'm not getting out of bed until that bite alarm goes. But he'll need a poo sooner than I that. I need a poo, actually. <laughs> Give us a carrier bag, I'll just do it in here. I'll fashion you something. <laughs> but yeah, I think like I said a minute ago, we're just going to leave the rods until at least tonight. So that'll give them 24 hours of just sitting there. But we're not disturbing the water, we're just leaving them to do their thing. <sighs> Rubbish lake. Rubbish fish. Stupid fish. Give up. Even the owner's saying that he doesn't get why he's fishing like this, so he, he, he said he would expect us to have more, but I guess that's fishing, isn't it? Sometimes it can be very tricky. I've still enjoyed the week. It's been good. I've enjoyed it, yeah. Up until this morning. He hasn't shut up moaning this morning. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Another social tonight, Dad. Another social, what round there? Yeah. <clears throat> what time is it? It's about half twelve. Where have I been? Getting petrol. Where have you been? In bed. <laughs> Thanks. Let me get on the, the old panos. <sighs> I got myself some desperados, you can have one. 
<laughs> Thanks. Because you've got a mojito one here, and then you can have a lime one. Thanks. So then I'll have two lime ones. We're going to do a little bit of tidying up, and then go sit around the Mars peg, yeah? Yeah, kind of the, the band are on there now. Just reverse it down. <sighs> still no fish. Are we still not moving the rods? Seeing any crashing? What's the point? Crashing? No. No. I think I've just lost all faith now. It'd be really good if one of the lambs just went now, wouldn't it? Uh huh. Just thinking, like, I don't know. We're all using different types of rigs anyway, aren't we? Like, Jay's using different rigs, kitches. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Just thinking, like, would it be worth just like, I don't know, putting spinners on or something? I don't know. Nah, that's what Jay, Jay's using heli system with the, the nut. And what we've got's worked so far. So. Yeah, it's just not worked just, enough. Well, no, but. I don't think that's our fault. This bloody fishing mark. Come on, Rods. What are you saying, Dad? I'm saying cheers. To what? The cat that went by? To the cat that went by, yeah. We've got them fizzing away in front of us, about 25, 30 metres away. Fizzing away, I've got I've got two rigs out there, and they're just not playing. They're not. We haven't had a, we haven't had a fish now for, since yesterday morning, wasn't it? Since my one yesterday morning, at yeah. eight. That's what? Uh... 20 over 26 27 28 hours yeah i was confident that we were going to get one this morning but mm. nope 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 we're just chilling in dad's peg wayne's with kitch it's his favorite little place to go and hide with kitch not happening at the minute <sighs> We're going to have another social tonight. Dinner together. Last night. We got any beer left? I don't know. I think Max has got a bit. Happy with the food? Banging in the burger. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright, right. right, that. Wayne's taken all the lettuce and all the good stuff off. Meat. I'm putting my chips in my burger. Meat. Keep, keep, keep with the meat. You put your chips in your burger? You're crazy, man. No, you've got no sauce, have you? So the sauce is in the burger. It's Clever. in burger. See? Well, ten past seven. And, uh, Obviously, we've been out last night. The pack down has well and truly started. As you can see, no table. Eight buckets are clean. In my bivvy. No uh, little mash table. That moon chair is going to go soon. So, uh, we've already decided we're going to keep one kettle out. I'm going to take the rubbish over in a sec, so that's done. Worth saying, actually, oh. isn't it? Oh, what have you done? You know that little thing? You, you, know hurt, you hurt your foot because of the yeah. stick. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, that's what hurt, okay. Yeah. Um, it's worth mentioning, we were supposed to be on a 10 to 7 ferry back, but we just got a call before at dinner and it's been moved to 20 past 5. So we thought we were going to have like a nice le leisurely, brekky pack down, but... but we're not we're in a bit of a rush no, now. We're gonna we? have to like get up, get the <laughs> out and go. So we need to be away by nine really, because it's about a six hour drive. You need to be there an hour before your ferry. So plenty of time, but 
just obviously for stops and whatnot. And we're just hoping that we can get, well me and Wayne obviously want two more fish, one each would be nice. And I just really hope Omar can get one in the dying hours. Would you take Omar getting one over me and you? Yeah. Yeah. I think I would too. Yeah, all day long. Just so he doesn't blank, but we don't choose, unfortunately, and we're not confident in any any of it, really. <laughs> Are we? No. We've left the rods all day. We haven't even touched them now. Because we know they're in decent spots. We know they're on fish, but they're just not feeding. And we know that the hook bait's fine because it's... it's plastic, yeah. <clears throat> we did change one to a Parker wafter, but that should be all right. Even if it's not wafting by now, it should be fine. But yeah, we've just lost a bit of the uh, the buzz, haven't we? This... We've lost the buzz and we've, we're just lacking motivation, really. Now. We've been Ready to go home. We've been doing it for so long. We've been trying so hard and it's... Uh, Obviously, we've had a couple, but it's not massively paid off. So, mm. yeah, I think like Wayne says, we, we are we're probably ready to go home today. To be fair, Definitely. missing our families a little bit. No, I'm missing them a lot. <laughs> I, miss, I miss you a lot, Danny. Love you. <laughs> no, we do. We miss them a lot. So, but we've got a long ass drive tomorrow. But Villa Fund, please give us. A few more gifts, parting gifts, please. Be kind. We're still here. Still here. We're still trying. Last night message. The last night we've got what, like 12, 13, 14 hours, something remaining? Yeah. Well, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Should we just go home now? I feel like we want to, <laughs> don't we? But we've become the worst, laziest fishermen ever. We have. I said sense. to Fox on the way round back to the um, bivvies that we was just kind of packing a few bits over into the van round the uh, uh, Mars swim, and I said like, if you know, if I if 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 I was blanking right now, if I hadn't caught a fish all week, I'd be doing everything I can to try and land a fish, you know, between now and when we go. But I guess because of the way it has been fishing for everyone and the fact that we have had two We've fish got a on the bank, bank each, each yeah. I'm just like, you know what? what whatever I've, will I've be, will thrown be. the white flag up. You win. And, and uh, I always say to him, like, I need him to catch before I can catch. So I'm just camping at the minute. Yeah, I had the luxury of pulling in the first fish. So I have that luxury of, well, it, timing. It could happen. He could get one in the night. Like, obviously, Jay got two in the night. So it could potentially happen. He could get one early on, and it probably won't happen. The way he's been fishing, the way I'm just trying to be optimistic. If we, we could pull the rods. These bats are getting well close. We could pull the rods in now, and it probably. Where's Max going? Wouldn't Jesus. make any difference. Yeah. yeah, no. I get that, but I'm just being optimistic. Yeah. You never know. It's normally me that's that's up. Most of our captures Whoa. have been during the night and in, in the dark hours, so. Yeah. Fingers crossed again. Let's let's see what happens. Let's see what the night brings. But that's the that's the last night message. From En Francais. From France number two for us. Like we said before, we've already been looking at France number three, so we're scoping out options and Yeah. Maybe even a driving survives on the cards. But well, that means we've got to do all the cooking. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going to be a, a little bit more um, this and whatever. Like, I was going to say we're going to be a little bit more focused on what sort of lake we go to, etc. But when we when we booked this, we was looking at the reviews Look and it looks amazing. So it's fishing. It is fishing. fishing, isn't it? You don't know what week you're going to hit it on. And um, recently, it's not been fishing that well. And yeah, maybe I just said like last time we went, we went second week in september obviously this is like first week in october so maybe it's a tad too late maybe we go back to that second week in september who knows we'll see who knows but if we get anything we will bring you the action and bring if omar gets anything we'll definitely bring you that there's loads now of these bats are scaring me so let's get in the bivy <laughs> Weird. That was a proper run. That was 
weird. Oh well. Back to bed. <laughs> Towards you, mate. Wait, there is. Sounds like there's someone on it to me. It's swimming so close in, isn't it? They know what they're doing. Like that that run, the sm that run at like three o'clock this morning. That was a fish on that man. When I rolled it in, there was just nothing on it. These are some well-educated fish. My turn. <laughs> yeah. Say so that again. There's a chunky monkey. He was hurt when he was pulling it, he was like, ah, it's dead small, it's dead small. <laughs> Nailed. Nailed. The rigmeister at it again. There we have it. 30 pound on the nose. Um, imagine if we could get one more before we go. How long we got? I don't even know what time it is. I, I think it's pretty early though. So, but yeah, another thirty grace in the net. This one is bang on thirty pound. Um, I mean, I should be over the moon, but I don't really feel that bothered. Like, I wish it was o Omar that had it on his line. Um, but nah. I guess it is nice to have a fish on the bank, innit? Take them, won't you? Take them. Yeah. Seven. So we've got about two hours left of fishing. <sighs> Off you go, bad boy. Pack down is on. Operation pack down is well and truly on in the dark. We've got four rods out now. The last villa from breakfast. It's eight o'clock. We'll be pulling the rods in pretty soon and getting on the road. That's it. That's all she wrote. Rods are out. Eight fish in the end. Let's go and put in the cart and get on the road. Let's do this uh, 15 hour journey. Can't wait. You're buzzing for it. Old man Riv pulling the last one in. <coughs> when are you going fishing next, Dad? Tuesday, Wednesday next week, maybe. As soon as you can. Why not? Get over that blank. Yeah. See you later, Villa Fund. <laughs> Catch any, wouldn't you? What are you saying, Dad? Clearly. Pop your head in the middle, Wayne. Wink. What are we saying?
We were just been speaking to some anglers at the we're at the ferry port at Calais now. Yeah. And what are they what are they saying? They, they struggled had, like three, three fish between, between them in a week. Yeah. Something Absolutely. in the air. There's something in the air. Maybe, between. yeah. Something to do with France this week. Just wasn't fishing right. So just to say that we're not <laughs> 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 We tried our <laughs> off and managed the eight fish. We had a decent week it would have been better if RMR would have caught but it's not been that bad no it's not been that bad can't complain dad's going fishing tomorrow I think <laughs> no not until um, middle of the week probably if I go at all this week I don't know but yeah just what thought we'd bring you that little update well suffice to say that was a very hard and testing week in our angling history even though we never had a crazy catch rate, we were still really pleased with the fish that we managed to catch. And it's got us wanting more, so obviously we've already booked with angling lines for next year. For now though, that's all from us. We'll have more content and a few more review videos coming your way soon. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already, click the subscribe button and hit the alarm bell to get notifications when we post any new content. Thanks for watching.